Good evening, Brainiacs. I'm Lester Johnson, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of My Humble Opinion. We have a developing story that's both shocking and absurd. Sean Diddy Combs, the music mogul known for his hits and extravagant lifestyle, was recently arrested in a Manhattan hotel. But it wasn't just for any old reason. He's facing federal charges for sex trafficking, prostitution, and racketeering. Talk about a plot twist even Hollywood couldn't write. And in a move that's almost as baffling as the charges themselves, he had 1,000 bottles of baby oil confiscated. Yes, you heard me right, Rebecca. 1,000 bottles of baby oil. Um. I think at this point, even the baby oil companies are like, whoa, Diddy, slow down. Are you even able to purchase that much baby oil at one time? You're able to buy that much baby? Imagine how much money, how much thousands of dollars he spent on baby oil when mothers are struggling enough as it is to get baby supplies for their children. He's just buying thousands of bottles of baby oil. Absolutely, Rebecca. I mean, one does question, where do you purchase so much baby oil at one time? Why do you need that much baby oil? I'm not sure. I mean, you know, Diddy, he is known for his extravagant parties. It could be a situation where maybe he was throwing a- Where do you get that much baby oil? I'm not Where's sure. Where's he purchasing it from? Is it the good brand too? Well, Rebecca, I think it was Johnson & Johnson, <laughs> which is a pretty good they baby allow oil. That? I'm not sure. You know, one seems to think when he made these purchases, maybe he made them under a, a, a different account. He's a, a businessman. Maybe he started some sort of organization where they said, hey, we need this amount of baby oil in order to do this project. And, you know, that was something that um, they were able to work out and negotiate. If I was, a, okay, if I owned a business that sold baby oil and baby products and someone like a random civilian, or even a celebrity is like, hey, can I get a, like a couple thousand mm. bottles of some baby oil? I'd yeah. be like, why? No. Why do you need that much baby? It does beg the question, why would one person need that much baby oil? Nobody knows, but it also seems as though on top of the baby oil, they also confiscated two AR-15s and some pretty risky videotapes as well. That's disgusting. It seems as though these tapes were part of something that they would call a freak off. And serious, hey, that's horrible. It's, it's, it's extremely serious. Imagine, okay, no, 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 no. Imagine, imagine you're a cop in this situation, okay? You get a call, you're probably trying to go handle some type of thing, and you bust into the door. One, you see a celebrity, one of a big, pretty big rapper, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. He's a um, mogul, he's a mogul. Yeah, one, he's, I'm not surprised because he's already not a good person. And, um, but if I was a cop and I just walked in thinking like, oh, okay, we're to deal with another one of these cases, this could be bad. And I had to confiscate thousands of bottles of baby oil, two AR-15s, videotapes, all of this. Like, I would, I would have to go home and really think about like what just Absolutely. happened in my life. One would say that would be a slippery situation. <laughs> Cam's brain, over to you, buddy. Diddy has officially taken can't stop, won't stop to a new level. Who knew that when he was making moves, he meant dodging the law? Right, I can only imagine his lawyers now saying, we need to focus on your image. And Diddy like, I'm trying to. They keep rolling out the baby oil. Meanwhile, the judge is probably thinking, you can't grease your way out of this one, Diddy. Was he planning a music video or a Quentin Tarantino movie? It's the kind of crossover no one's seen coming. Yeah. Now on a serious note, it's alarming to see someone in this position facing such a grave accusation. It's not just the music anymore. It's about the accountability, and to top it off, he's reportedly unable to get bond. He shouldn't get bond. I mean, I would imagine so. I mean, having that, you know, let's let's set aside the AR-15s. Well, let's you have let's to think set about aside this is the videos. He's probably done for a long time. And he just now got caught. Yeah, I because he he has all these things in his possession as if this isn't his first rodeo. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, he's not able to get by. And looks like he's not going anywhere except maybe to a long, uncomfortable chat with his legal team. You're gonna represent who? Well, no, you're not. Don't represent. Don't represent. Hmm. Well, Cam's brain, it seems that you and Rebecca seem 
to share the same sentiment as it relates to Sean Diddy Combs. He got us to pass me. In all seriousness, these are serious allegations, and it's crucial that the legal process runs its course. But it's hard not to chuckle at the absurdity of having a thousand bottles of baby oil at a time like this. It's almost like he was trying to create a slip and slide on his own misfortune. And there you have it. Stay tuned as we follow this wild story, both the serious and the strangely comedic side of it. Back to you in the studio. See you next time. Peace.